Hello everyone, Scoops here. Welcome back to some more Open Roads. Uh, in the last episode, we made our way to the family cabin, which, uh, the supper cabin, which looks really aw Looked like it would have been amazing to go to. Mind you, it was like 20 years dilapidated, so not that great. Um, but there we discovered that Grandma had a secret lover <laughs> that she uh, was apparently communicating with at least... I, th I think during, like, before Grandpa died, and then definitely after, he ran away to Canada to go find, like, a place for them to go, uh, you know, canoodle at, live at, I guess, and bring the kids, apparently. Um, but it doesn't seem like that happened. It seemed like Grandma kind of abandoned, uh, that idea. But we are gonna go see Explorer. We have a location to go, um, to, to see if, uh, he's still there, if there's anything still there. I don't know. Let's go find out. Uh, we are currently at a hotel. Mm-hmm. Notify the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're Beware. good. Da, 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 da. Be sure Value 7 Lodge. Got it. Ooh, pill bottle. Take one pill by mouth daily. Doesn't say what it's for. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> okay, you know, it's fine. We don't need to, we don't need to snoop a medication. Oh yeah, definitely Mountain stealing Valley. these. Mountain Valley, nice. It's decent. Probably not though. Boo! <laughs> nice. Oh, can't look at ourselves. That would be kind of hard to do. Look closer. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, nothing, nothing stupendous here. I mean, this is just a hotel room. I can't imagine there's going to be a great deal of anything to look at. No. Bible somewhere, I'm assuming. Ooh, a visitor's guide. Ooh, oh. 2001. Um. Poet? Hmm. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> Put it back. No. No. Alright, into the backpack, I guess. Ooh, text. Anything fun? Hey, Tessa Bear, hope you had a good day. Busy with some work uh, late tonight, but we'll talk you to you tomorrow. Thinking of you, always dad. Thanks, Dad. Text Dad. Hi, Dad. What's up, Tessa Bear? Nothing, just gonna cross the Canada border soon. Wanted to say hi. Ooh, it's been so long since I read texts like this, and it's just... Ooh, it's hard, hard to get at. Nothing, just gonna cross the Canada... Yeah, okay, send that. Ooh, what for? Find some clues in, uh, in Grandma and Grandpa's old summer house, and we think there might be uh, more to find at another place across the border. So we're gonna check it out. Tess! Are you hunting for bootlegger gold without me? <laughs> Maybe. We're going to see what we find. Can't wait to hear all about it once you get back and to get my cut of the action. Cannot wait to talk to you two. Uh, I had a question. It's about uh, you and Mom. I feel a bummer incoming, but okay. <laughs> we always said Mom wanted to leave and that's why you're not living with us anymore. But Mom said you were the one that wanted to leave, so I'm confused. Ooh, she said that, huh? Well, I'd say it was mutual, kid. But I had a big opportunity out here and I had to take it. I understand why your bum didn't want to come along, and that's okay. That's why you left uh, home and quit video galaxy and everything? It's not the same without you here, or at the store. I'm sure the store is even better without me. Who wants <laughs> their dad as their boss? You made the store so fun. Oh, that's sad. The window displays and the Halloween costume contest and movie quote trivia. The new manager is just boring. Uh, so what is your big opportunity out there? Well, you know, I headed out here to uh, for a new biz venture. I'm in the investment stage. I uh, can't wait to tell you more about this, but just wouldn't feel comfortable until I know it's going to pan out. Just want to make sure everything's perfect for when I tell you more. Remember uh, when you were little and you worked on that book you drew me for weeks and wouldn't let me peek at it uh, till this was all done? Still got the book right here with me, and you didn't want me to see it till you had it all perfect. This is just like that. You still have that? Yeah, I'd never part with it. No way, no how. I just don't want to disappoint you by jumping the gun. You understand, don't you, kiddo? I mean, kinda. You could probably explain it a little bit. She's like 17. She could figure it out. Can't wait to hear more. Soon, I hope. Got to get back to it. Love you, Tessa Bear. Love you, too. <laughs> Send it. Text Francine? Oh, we have options. Heh. <laughs> sure. Hey, Frankie, we survived the abandoned summer home. And how was it? See, this is something I don't know if the, the kids these days really uh, knew, knew about, but... Back in, like, the early 2000s, when you sent a text and somebody responded, it was like having a conversation. <laughs> like, you'd say, like, hi, 
they'd respond back immediately. You'd get into like a, a an actual conversation, and say bye at the end. At least I did. I think a lot of people did too. Oh, you can respond to different things. Oh my goodness. I was wondering why it kind of came up with options to compose. That's embarrassing. Oh my god, how many ghosts did you see? Nothing but ghosts. Uh, but ghosts, the place was packed full of them. Damn, I want to see a ghost. Speaking of spooky, how did your uh, mom react to you telling her about Nevada? Shut up, I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna, and she will let me go. Just do it now. Kale, okay, when it's the right time? When? I don't know. <laughs> so, did you find what you were looking for? Uh, yes and no. Uh, we're heading up to Canada tomorrow. What? Yeah, we found some stuff about who my grandpa might have really been. Ooh, we're gonna see if we can find out more about him. What? You might be part Canadian? Yo, one-fourth maple syrup running through my blood. Pretty sweet. I'll call and tell you about it when we're home. Reception out here is bad. Uh, we're in a weird little motel for the night. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Be positive. It's pretty cool. <laughs> It's old and vintage, and my mom's getting me a burger from the bar. Heck yeah! <laughs> uh, when you have a look around the, uh, have a look around the motel room. Uh, is there anything weird in there? Probably. If I find anything weird, I'll text you about it. Put phone in pocket. Yeah, do it. Francine wants to hear about weird stuff here. I should text message her if I find anything interesting. I haven't found anything interesting so far, and there's not really much else to do here. I think. No. There it is. Read. Bible. Cool. <laughs> what is that? Not quite sure what I'm looking at here. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, that looks to be about it. I think I got a ooh, TV remote. Can I change the channel? No. Okay, well, I can't put it back either. Open the backpack. Pick up calculator. Do homework until mom comes back. It doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. I say we hey, just dig into it. It's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. 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 <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with moving. some questions about mom and dad. Pretty hefty questions. This burger's my rival, and I will defeat it. Wait, what? Dad burger? Are we snooping? Ooh, what's this? I'm never gonna draw him. Word of the mouth, what t shirts? Posters and local. Yeah. I don't know about my mom wrote on a bar napkin. Uh, ooh, what's it say? It's notes about our theater, like how to get more people to go. I thought a bar napkin would be more interesting. <laughs> uh, biz must be worse than usual. Yeah, these are ideas are tame. We need to punch it up. We run down the street, launching fireworks, yelling, Theater! I get my pl <laughs> uh, plane to spell out C plays in the sky. Nice. You go to an elementary school and play Boo. Uh, better acting at Andromeda. Oh, nice. I see. Whoa. So rude. What? Kids bonus back. I'm envisioning the backstage bomb rage. Uh, maybe napkin thoughts win. Possible. Put it back. It's over this way. No, not getting anything. Anything the garbage can? No. I think it's just homework till we go. Or a burger, I should say. Ooh. <laughs> Eat it! Eat it! Yes! I've vanquished the mighty burger. That was an achievement. What else can I do? I thought it was my only option. No TV. Can I leave? We just have to wait till the conversation's over. Do homework, I guess. Yeah, might as well. I just. Do you think. Could dad have. Yeah, she's here. Hold on. Ooh, conversation. She wants to talk to you. 
I'm going out for a smoke, back in a few. Shouldn't smoke. It's bad for you. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Could say yeah, that. that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? Uh, I think it's pretty... Uh, control, there we go. Uh, I think it's pretty exciting. Actually, you know, I don't know what I think. I... It's weird. Honestly, I'm not sure. Hidden families, potentially. It's <laughs> so surreal. I can't imagine Grandma having an affair, but I also don't think she would have if it wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah, it seems pretty out of character, but she was an interesting person. My dad... I was still pretty young when our dad died. For your mom... I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never really knew him. I'm sorry. It's all right. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. All manner of nonsense. Your old art will say Nightshade. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah. I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. My jade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... Falling apart. It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? Yes. What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? Ooh. No. What about mom? Can, can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you... But she doesn't want to. Ooh, we what got options. Mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta Convenient. go. Convenient. Love you, Teresa. Love you too, Anne August. Ooh, so yeah, we can go off to Nevada. I can't quite remember why. See, Dad, I think it was. Hot ah, damn. Check text. Do it. Got yeah, my dad with dinner. Uh, have a good drive to Canada. Don't let the moose bite. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, take the phone. Go to bed? I guess so. Did she scribble anything else on the mirror? No. On that? Boo's still there. Alright, yeah. Looks like nothing to do but go to bed. I sleep on the right naturally, so this works for me. State overnight in a motel. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. And he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess. What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. This is the tale. If you want of to just Captain drive Jack quietly Sparrow. for a while, that's fine. So good. Classic I song. Can do that. If you don't know it, look it up. Lonely Island. Jack Sparrow. This drive is so freaking boring and I wonder what's going on with Dad and Francine. Pick up directions. Road buddy. Let's see, is there anything fun? Look out. Okay, air freshener. <laughs> Nice. Okay, open backpack. I got yelled at last time I tried that, so let's not do that. Cool. Wait, Ooh, receipts. My cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? Oh. I put it in your pocket last time. Be responsible. Right. I think this is the same one we saw before. They like their gum. What's this? Registration. Sure. <laughs> Reach. Oh no. Get harassed by mom. What? <gasps> my cell phone. 
I left my cell phone at the hotel. Oh, uh, devastating. Sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Just casually. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. Just call you them. You don't understand. Let them know. Pick it up tomorrow. Francine is going to be worried about me. Ooh, that tugs the heartstrings a little bit. Francine is going to be worried about me. We text or call or see each other every day. She's going to wonder what happened to me. Didn't you text her before we left this morning? Yeah, but... And your cell phone wouldn't work in Canada anyway. I'm sure Francine will be fine till we can pick up your phone from the motel on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We Yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Really not that well, far. Well, we can drive I faster mean, guess, on yeah. the way back. <laughs> I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get you your... No, I... I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. Y y you were lying to me, and I was so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back. And hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you. When was I lying to you? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. What about the pills? Uh, yeah. I mean, like it's this is a nonsense trip anyway. Like, it, it, it just go back. It shouldn't take that long. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, you didn't tell me we could stay with August. Yeah, I'm definitely not hitting the pills one. That seems personal. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you guys can't really see. Can I move myself? <laughs> Maybe I like go up here or something like that. It seems kind of reasonable. I might get blocked off. It's a bit awkward. Uh, you didn't tell me we could stay with August. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling? Now to I look help like us. I'm looking down at them. I didn't. I didn't lie. I. She doesn't want to help. Doesn't Helping wanna help. would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I. Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Pride cometh before the fall, Opal. Uh, why don't you like August? If you and Dad were still together, what do you think we'd be right now? Why don't you like August? Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself, especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not going to be like your little vacation. August <sighs> thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? It's getting heavy. You're exhausting. No wonder dad left. Ooh. Don't bring your dad Twist into Twist the this. knife. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad? Actually talk about dad for once. The divorce. The... I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see dad when I go next month. You're it's not going to Nevada next Ooh. month. Yes, That's cutting I am. it tight. <laughs> I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? That was if a low blow. If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? I really do. Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. Ooh. You. Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected <laughs> me to say, Oh, sure, honey. 
Feel oh, free no. to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? Oh, that's awful. What kind no. of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh... So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Wow, professional gambler. That's... Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> that's not the path to success. Not only did I lose my phone, but I got in a fight with mom. This sucks. I guess now we're just going to sit here in silence until we get to this stupid houseboat. What a fun road trip. Quote, that was sarcastic. The directions change yet? <laughs> I usually keep my phone in like the little side compartment there on the door. Ooh, this is uh, this is it's getting dead end. getting bad. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? This looks like a horrible I don't idea. Know. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Where I are think we it's at? through here. Twenty-one minutes. <laughs> Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in. See what we can find about Pierre and get out before I change my mind. Agreed. All right, I think this game is going to end after this section. <laughs> so I think we just push it. It's going to be a colossal episode. It's okay. We'll find it. Swim? Sumic? Sumer? Summer? Maybe. Uh, what well, looks like we finally made it to the houseboat we saw in the picture. Most likely owned by the mystery man, a.k.a. Pierre Lautrec. Uh, whatever we find here better be worth it. It won't be. But damn, this is beautiful. Oh, I can smell it. And it's probably bad. Larry's shack. Got a mailbox. Orange. Oh, Grange, never mind. <laughs> Latrec. <gasps> Latrec? That's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe it's that's for the best. <laughs> Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. Like, there's nobody here who found a mailbox labeled La Trek. We can't get to it, though. Mom said it'd be illegal, but that's quitter talk. <laughs> yeah, like, none of these look well used. So that could be, um, this place looks pretty abandoned, too. Did he build this whole thing? Yep, yeah, somebody had a problem. Damn, this is pretty, though. I want to go to a place like this. Larry's Shack. Can I get in? Oh! Dingy. I need those just to be on the safe side. Hey, Mom! <gasps> Pierre! Pierre. I didn't actually look Pierre at it. Was here. <laughs> Looks like we're on the right track. I mean, she's got to be at least a little excited, right? This means you... Okay, wait, hold on. Please remember, please remember this is a shared facility for all residents who fish off their boats or the dock. If you borrow equipment or clean to clean or prepare your catch, return it to the storage space in an orderly fashion. Da -da -da -da. This means you, Pierre, so he's a bit of a loose cannon. Pick up fishing lure. Nope. Oh, pick up plate. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, apparently you can get plates for days if we really wanted. These look like they've been used. Just Is that blood? Dried blood? Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Why on earth did I just touch that? The fair point. I guess I, I made her do it. Ugh. I do not want to know what that was for. Yikes. Somebody has anger issues. Couldn't just set down the knife gently, could ya? I mean, if you're the kind of person that goes uh, running off to some faraway land, you could go off with your love her, and then she abandons you. I'd be a little peeved, too, probably. I get how these, this happens in, like, the world. So, like, if I get really close, then all of a sudden, like, you can't see it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't look like anything new. What was that? Pick up hat. Can I wear it? No. 
Oh my god, so dark. Boot! Somebody keep keys in the boot? That'd be weird. Oh man, that bathroom is just like open. <laughs> there is uh, no mystery when you're going for that. I don't know what that's. Oh, it's a fishing rod. Okay. How are we supposed the boat. to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. Bridge. Make a bridge with a canoe. We're right across at, at the boat, but if we try to jump, that gap will break our shin bones. Maybe there's something around here we can use. Yeah. Let's see. Anything here? Plank of wood. Whoa. Can I go that way? Oh, okay. I thought it was about to like clip through the world. That's definitely. Those floating in water? I think they're trying to be. Move plank! This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. This is clearly wait, abandoned. What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted or or But we're already here. And the trailer home Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. Well, it wasn't I, I fine. Think... It wasn't if great. If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together, but I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. That's gonna hurt. Let's flip a coin. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads! Heads. I won! Just Psst. be careful and stay Suck away it, from Mom. the edge! Hey, was there anything over here, though? I kind of want to take a look at. I wasn't quite ready. Doesn't look like there's really much of anything. I mean, like, clearly there's other ways. They go down to the beach and climb up, like... Gameplay-wise, it needs to be this way. Let's go. This place is clearly abandoned, though. Beached? Got some snacks. It probably should go in there. Oop, might have a problem. Quite the party boat Pierre had going on here. No kidding. One man I party? I kind of want to clean up the rest of these. Ugh, why? Uh, they're all in the bucket except these two. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I think that would be it. If there's just a few leftover ones, like, no, shove them in the bucket. It's fine. Well, they're all in the bucket except these two. They've been separated from their friends for so many years. So many years. Now they will be reunited at last. I don't really know what the point of that was. Can I go this way? I can. Ooh. Oh, you can kind of see in. What are the odds we find a body? It's got to be pretty low, right? Okay, I'm guessing that ladder, or uh, this door over here is actually sh shut. Man, what happened to this lake? <laughs> Seen some hard times. Oh, it wasn't. Oh. Pick up letter. Can't read it. I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. A houseboat. It's a romantic thought, living right on the water, but don't you suppose it might be a bit too small for both of us uh, and two children, including a teenager? Teenager, Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? We are still here waiting for the heat to die down. Well, I'm excited to start a new life afresh. I've begun to rack up worries. How will the children react? With all they've already been through, what do you suppose my parents will think? Uh, us just disappearing. My poor mother, she's already lost a son-in-law. Will people come looking for us? Are you sure there's no other way? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so dodgy. A letter from Grandma. I have to Can know. Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. The professional wow. gambler. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? We're really rich. 
one where we were really rich? This doesn't and look like a rich place, by the way. Make <laughs> every play there amazing? Tess. And we could keep Grandma's house and make it all perfect, like better than it's ever been? There's no way to that reality from here. Rich sounds good. I'm up for rich. Back. What about this photo? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> wow. This is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? More... Oh. You mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. Huh. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Nice. I feel like you need to, like, post somebody up. Oh, here we go. Ooh, magazine for men, gentlemen. A 12-page pictorial on the girls of Iceland. Okay, well, I guess we're going. Asking wow, mom about this. Cool. Tess, don't touch that! <laughs> Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Might Plus, be more. I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like... <sighs> Never mind. We know what you mean. And I think it mean. was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968. And patterned tights. But really, put that down. It's probably for the best, yeah. There's a certain kind of sexual energy coursing through this uh, apartment for now. The sing. Oh. It's locked. Mm. This must be where the money is. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, money. but... Regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. Yeah, is this place fully abandoned? Whatever's in there, I uh, could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course it's locked because nothing's ever easy. Like, it feels pretty abandoned, right? But, like, is it? <laughs> we'll find out. Pick up a lighter. A smoker. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? Doesn't look like it has in a long time. Would love a hat like that. Oh, nope. Uh, what's this? Damn, 40 grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending six dollars on a steak lunch. Or seven dollars for a tank of gas. Did people just drink more back then? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. Six pack of beer, motel, yeah, there's something. I don't know why. Ooh, Hopto Lake, Ontario. See if Received from, okay, I guess I can hit the button, right? Uh, received from Mr. Pierre Lautrec, 3,000 exchange for the houseboat to I, the Eidolon. <laughs> Eidolon. $3,000? For a houseboat? Are you saying that's a lot? Or a little? So little. So little. A little? Only $3,000 for a boat you can live on? Aiming an outboard motor for that. And These a days, boat. I'm sure. That's, that's two whole things for just $3,000. Some people don't even have one thing. It does seem like he probably got a pretty good deal. Do you think the boat had something wrong with it? Maybe Pierre just drove a hard bargain. It was just a different time. Cool. Nobody to spy on. You don't now. spy on people, Tess. <laughs> That's just creepy. Yes, it's just like I can't quite tell exactly how dingy everything is oh that's like a, a lantern it's so faded <laughs> good morning i kind of want to go outside again go down there but i guess we could just take oh we can't okay we have to perfect <laughs> against the uh, burden of choice if there's no other choice then there's no burden I don't see signs of any other life here there's a bunch of canoes everywhere but that's about it Hey, Mom. 
It's like Silent Hill, just like the Swamp of Sadness. Check out those trees. <laughs> just like the Swamp of Sadness. I don't know the Swamp of Sadness. The what? From Never Ending Story? Oh, Where tragic. the horse dies? <laughs> Is that a movie? You're seriously thinking about movies right now? We watched it together on video. I was like six and I cried so hard we had to stop the movie because of the horse dying in the Swamp of Sadness. Oh, that movie. Yeah, that movie. Actually, I actually haven't seen it. I saw something similar to it, I think. Actually, I know I saw it at some point, but I definitely don't remember it. <laughs> Flare gun. Dodge this. Cool. Yeah, nothing there. Uh, so it looks like it probably goes to the engine. Evil? There's just been a graffitied. I'm still expecting to find a body at some point. <laughs> Maybe that's the wrong attitude to have. I don't know. Oh. Ooh, kids room. Oh, it's for Diddly four wings. players. Sorry, Pierre. I think I know how that game works. Can I open this? Yes. Oh. I like, I can't, I can't crouch. <laughs> Other side. Come on! Nope. Are you kidding me? I don't think you can crouch or anything. Is there a button? Hold on, let me check. <laughs> Have I been uh, lax this whole time? No, there's nothing there. Dang it. Is this supposed to be like an Easter egg? Okay, well, doesn't seem like I can go at it. There's gifts everywhere, I guess. Please don't go on about these silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This affects all of us. You say we'll have everything we could ever hope for, but I'm not the one who decided to run off across the board and have a silly little Helen pick up and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's lives at the drop of a hat to follow, no matter how much money was involved. I hope uh, for things that money can't buy. Treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl. My relationship with my parents and siblings. Satisfying work where I could get to help people. My children to grow up in the loving company of their grandparents and their friends. Uh, these are the things you asked me to give up, and for what? Isolation? An unfamiliar place? A leaky boat? Money to spend? On what? What does it matter if everything else is lost? Why would... So, like, did he steal the money? Is that what happened? Is this just, like, this dodgy dude that stole a bunch of money and flee, flew, fled fled to Canada? I don't what know. Tell him, Grandma? Doesn't seem like a yeah. good dude. Not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Well, God, I hope so. <laughs> uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. You really don't. Sacre bleu. <sighs> we oh, should, no, it's already we happening. Don't. Yeah, I feel like that's like a smoking gun kind of thing. Look at all these gifts. Can I open these? No. Shockingly little things to look at, like <laughs> wallpaper. It's like paneling? Gross. Like, I, you think you get some context for these random gifts that are hanging around, but I guess not. <laughs> Bathroom? This would be horrifying to shower in. <laughs> this looks intense. What's the brushy thing for? Good question, actually. Oh, for applying the cream. Of course. Ooh. Oh, kitchen. Ooh. A ledger. <laughs> Can't read. Description. Da, da, da. Cash. Charlie Spine for the girls. Crab games. Life preservers. Horse race. Newman's track. Ooh, horse race. <laughs> yes, craps. Poker. Lunch with guys. Man, he did not get up to much. Not sure what this is about. Boy, he really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. Well, some of it was on this boat. Yeah, seems like he really loved it. I mean, it looks amazing. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August living here? Maybe then she would have been a famous painter because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. For I think sure. it's quaint. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. <laughs> I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. 
little houseboat on the river? Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> sure. Pick up pan. We're probably okay. I don't need to pick up everything. <laughs> I have been up to this point, but it's probably ultimately not necessary. Got pans for days, though. Ooh, and a pot. Robbers hit again in Porton. Uh, local and state police are looking for a group of thieves who made off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from climbing clothiers in a burglary Saturday night. Ooh, okay. According to the state police, the mayor burglar the store at 1.20 a.m. They dismantled the store safe, taking the money bef bag before fleeing. There were no witnesses. Da -da -da -da. How much? How much? Do you think this is the money that he stole? I'm guessing the so. The burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Yeah. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? Seems legit. Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. You kind of know though, right? Like Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all I mean, this? She sounds like an accomplice. I mean, you know, whether she was there or not, I don't know. But if she knew something happened and said nothing, that's kind of an Why accomplice. Not? <laughs> she had two kids at home. And I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Sorry. Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. No, I mean, you know, maybe that's what she wanted me to think. I didn't know about Pierre, after all. You never knew about- you never suspect Pierre. Spoons! No. Shut it. Don't want to be rude. Why, why would you put the dustpan in the top drawer? That's so weird. That's the nuttiest thing I've seen so far. Okay, no body yet. Pick up wine bottle. Yeah, he definitely looks like he knew how to party. Looking for a key. Flashlight. That might actually be useful. If it still works, it probably doesn't. No. Nope. Gotta be down here somewhere. Oh, it's a it's a fridge. Cool. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Dang it! Take a receipt. Some more liquor. Yeah, he knew how to drink. <laughs> Foghorn. <coughs> oh no! Don't Attention, do it. I knew it was. I regret it. <laughs> Doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. Oh, thank God. We go outside. Pick up the pipe, pick up tobacco box. I don't think we need to do any of this. Oh, we made our way to the back. Is that a person? No, it's just a shrub. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that. Doesn't look like there's much else out here. Oh, I can climb up though. I did not see that. I wonder if it was always there. Yeah, it might have been. Okay, let's open the door. Let's figure out the mystery. <gasps> Anybody? Nobody. Got a typewriter. Makes sense. Can I open these? I can't open these. Can't open that. Here we go. This is gonna be it, isn't it? Read it. I've received your latest letter. This is my final response. You did say, uh, you say you did 
quote unquote, all this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, you've done for yourself. You're the one who was unsatisfied with, satisfied with our home, our income, and always wanted more. You're the ones who made the decision to get more money through reckless illegal means. You're the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without even telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, this is tracking now. I'm not following along anymore. You say these are your kids too? Of course they are, but they're my children as well. I'm here with them every day, comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father. Uh, trying my very hardest to keep up the ruse, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, used to doing this on my own, used to speaking for myself, to living this new life. I'm regaining my footing, starting to feel okay. Hmm. Wow! <laughs> I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So I guess that's it? Grandma and Pierre went to all this trouble and then Grandma just changed her I mean, mind. do you... Uh, like, I think maybe she wasn't so convinced in the first place. Yeah, she didn't want to well, at all. Why string Pierre along like this for so long? He bought a boat and fixed up the kids' room and everything? I regret my choice. <laughs> maybe she just wasn't sure at first. Or didn't want to hurt him. Oh yeah, I bet he felt great about reading this. I kind of figured something would happen there. Ooh, we got a key. To what? Looks like a mailbox key. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I was hoping that would turn The out. last letter. I swear, you could be so nosy sometimes. Okay, we got to see if there's anything else here. I'm guessing no. No. Okay. Let's fucking go. I feel like it's the end of Clue. <laughs> Or just like running from room to room, being like, I gotta get, there's a thing over here. We gotta fix it. We gotta figure it out. We gotta find it. We gotta open this. Come on, let's go. There's no sprint button. The newspapers are remarkably well preserved for being outside. <laughs> oh, here it is. Looks yep. like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? Oh, yeah, have no to. Tests. He's dead. He's gotta be dead. <laughs> um, come on, Mom. Live a little. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats, too. <laughs> Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats, too. It's a little late to be getting squeamish now, don't you think? I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. So curious. Uh, Sheriff's Department, green tour. Oh, is he giving himself up? Read, okay. To whom it may concern, I now confess my culpability for a spate of burglaries which resulted in the theft of almost one half of a million dollars. I had worked as a property inspector for Guillen County over the 10 years. Uh, at a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection from this store's security. As time went on, the stores they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no way uh, to back out of the arrangement as they had threatened not to only my safety, but that of my family is as well. Seeing no other option, I falsified a death certificate with papers I lifted from the county office. I left my wife and daughters to cross the border under an assumed name, giving them instructions to follow me. They never did, and I... Regret having asked them to. Uh, what little of my stolen profits remain, I have destroyed. My wife, Helen, knew nothing of my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no other choice. She is innocent. My decision to involve myself in this series of crimes is mine alone. I only ask to leave my wife and daughters alone. Leonard Lambros. What? So Pierre... That was the dad. Was he staged his dad? own death. He wrote what? this whole confession. That's crazy. It never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically. <laughs> yes, jeez. <laughs> right, right. Uh... Man, that's a bombshell. I... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> so my father had hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack he was just here on this dock we never got to know him he, he was just a car ride away august and i suffered over something that never even happened Ooh, that's uh 
Yeah, I don't wouldn't know how to feel that. And apparently, uh, choosing bad men runs in the family. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you'd thought your dad had just died, and you had to live with that. That really sucks. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just abandoned us. All this time, he was... here. Uh, he gave up his family, his children, for an old boat and some booze. A I wish I booze. could have talked to him. Just one more time. And my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't, I can't even imagine. <sighs> I just wish I could have talked to her about it while she was alive. I just. But she could have trusted you, right? Like that's like, that's the devastating thing. I mean, imagine if this whole life she could have just like, you could have met your dad again, even if he was a drunk and a criminal. She could have trusted you. I'm gonna say it would have been there for her. No, wish she could have trusted you. Wish she could have trusted you? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. Yeah, imagine knowing I that. I can't believe she would Father do that to us. Lie to children us her whole is life. alive and you just did nothing. Why didn't oh. she say anything? <laughs> Even when we were all grown up. Maybe... Maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So what so happened to him? That's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? Based off the alcohol and I the don't age, know. probably not. Honestly, I, I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find. No, I think we've found enough. Yeah, I'm sorry, mom. He pretended to die, <laughs> but he really just left me like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad. <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked dad out. <sighs> yeah, but doesn't mean he made choices. I mean, well, Wait, it wasn't what? quite like that. I guess. Listen, I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> she said here, but the captain said there. Thanks for doing this, for coming with me. Well, of course. <laughs> and for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... Kind... Oh, mom. <laughs> beautiful... Hard-working... Stop, stop! You make me cry! <laughs> Just... Such... An amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Wow. So are we going back? Is there more to the game? Is this it? I feel like this has got to be it. This is going to be a colossal episode. Sorry about that. It's nothing to do but talk to Mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Remember hating those. So much fun. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. <laughs> so you asked about what happened. With me and dad. Uh-huh. Spill the beans. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems. Our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing. And then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. 
Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. It's a little playing better. playing as a sport. That's insane. That's insane. Didn't anybody tell him the house always wins? Oh, I did. But this isn't playing poker against the house. It's against other players. There is no house. I mean, yeah, Believe but me, like... I heard all his justifications. <laughs> there were plenty. And even though he's been gone for a couple years, he's never told me why he's really out there. Why wouldn't he tell me? Maybe deep down, he's not so proud of it. Or he sucks at it. Maybe he just didn't want to tell me till after he'd hit it big? So he chose right when Grandma really started getting sick and we moved in to take care of her to go off and follow his dream? Not great. He must really like poker. No, he, he likes, likes running it. away. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. Can't handle it. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married. Said we could make it work. But by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this... This was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? No. Not at all. No, I get it. You need to support, and he just ran away. Kind of forced your hand. Yeah, kind of. That sucks, Mom. But I do miss him. I'm sorry for buying the tickets. Oh, so I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought, I don't know, that Dad like explain everything to me in a way that made sense and. That he was living some great life out there. No, you... You shouldn't... Apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. Yeah. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. Go visit. I think you should go. Yeah. To Reno? Yeah. Just a visit. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Definitely. Are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August's mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. I'm hungry, and that sounds <laughs> for really what? good. For what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick-ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, I mean, that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but All I know right. it looks we good. We can wrap it up at this point. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> Come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. It was a cute dog. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford, like Grandma and me. It's silly, but... But it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like... Like doing, Kurt. Like seeing, Kurt. Let's say seeing. Doing sounds, uh, aggressive. Like seeing Kurt? Yeah. 
exactly. Ooh, is Kurt still in the picture? Many other. I can't remember what happened. No, he yeah, ran away too, didn't he? It's hard to let go. <laughs> to see you as an yeah, adult, not did. just my baby girl. Mom. You were so cute back then. Even cuter than now. Burn. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head. The say. bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep. And it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect, tiny little heads. Like golf balls. Mm-hmm. That's an odd thing to say. So, <laughs> what do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah. Do it. I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? I'm not sure. I want to be with you, Mom. I'm not sure. What and about Francine? the Andromeda and Francine? It means starting over, kind of. Yeah, but it could be nice to get a fresh start. She's We've up been for through it. a lot of big changes this year. You've been through so many big changes. But I mean, we're making it work. And whatever we decide, we can make it work. I'm confident in that. Yeah. Me too. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> and he also <laughs> stole a bunch. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. I don't know if I appreciate that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> huh. Okay. You know what? I, I enjoyed that. Nice little simple little game. <laughs> Just tells a, a, an interesting story. A, a good amount of like family drama, which is always exciting. Um, yeah, I liked it. I hope everybody else did too. I know it's no, it's not like uh, the kind of game that the internet goes nuts for, but I I, I, have, I have fun with it. So um, yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hope to see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye.